We've had a crazy few days then regarding fixtures that may be postponed and have been postponed. So it was difficult to get a wildcard video out there. I didn't want to do a wildcard video until we knew for sure which games were still going ahead. All right, let's have a look at it. Game week, a wildcard, 99 million. Let's see what we've got. Now, since creating this team, I have looked at other YouTubers wildcard teams and there are quite a few similarities, but I guess you'd expect that. So starting with Arsenal, we have Martinelli and Jesus. From Aston Villa, we have Luca Dean. From Chelsea, we have Rhys James. From Fulham, we have Andreas and Mitrovic. From Leicester, Danny Ward, Justin and Madison. This is for 99 million. If you find you haven't quite got enough, you can downgrade Justin to a defender for 4.1, maybe Nico Williams. If you've got more, Justin may be the one you want to upgrade or else pick someone else, but this is 99 million. That's what we're going for. Man City, Cancelo and Haaland. From Newcastle, we have Pope. From Spurs, we're having Perisic and Kuliseski. From West Ham, Bowen. So the starting 11 I'd suggest for game week 8 is Pope in goal and then James Perisic and Cancelo. I realise James isn't playing but I still like to put him in there as the best player and somebody to come off the bench. In the midfield we have Kuliseski, Bowen, Madison and Martinelli. Up front Haaland, Jesus and Mitrovic. And then on the bench we have Danny Ward, Andreas who's obviously going to come in for James. Luca Dean and Justin. And then the captain. For game week eight, I'm suggesting it's between Haaland and Bowen. In other weeks, you probably want to choose Mitrovic, but I'm suggesting it's between these two for now. And predictably, the old mule hat goes on Haaland, which means Bowen gets the fancy little wee mule bonnet, which I think kind of suits him quite well. I think we should save up and buy him one of those. Something interesting about this week's wild card for 99 million is that my son's actually going to copy it. So this is my son's team, as you can see from his name, Son of Midnight Mule. The team's called Set, Forget, Chips. It's a set and forget from the beginning, but he can play the chips. That means he can play both wild cards. He can use the free hit. He can do the triple captain. And of course, when it's the World Cup, he'll be changing it then as well. But regarding the bench order and who the captain is and who the vice captain is, that never changes. So for this week, as I mentioned, James won't actually play, but then Andreas will come in off the bench. He's currently at 3.5 million, which isn't very good, I know. But um, the, the original set and forget team this was based on uh, wasn't the greatest. I'll admit that if we go to points and see how it was set up. Uh, so Robertson's obviously out injured now. Mitrovic was the second on the bench behind Walker. We were playing Mares and Neto, so obviously Walker and Mitrovic would have been better choices in retrospect than Mares or Neto or even Robertson. But that's fine. Going forward, we'll see how this does. So there we have it. The wildcard team for game week eight for 99 million. I hope you found that interesting and possibly a little bit useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.